This is Roberto and this is the HVAC Easy Mac channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about continuous ventilation based on ASHRAE 62.2 2010. All right, let's start with it. So this standard is basically divided into two parts. So number one, the standard indicates that we, in order to provide fresh air or proper ventilation for indoor environments, especially in a house, we need one CFM every 100 square feet and we need 7.5 CFM per occupant. So let's start, let's do that in terms of equations. So we're going to choose another color, you know, I guess, you know, yellow is a little bit better. So. 1 CFM every 100 square feet 100 square feet and also 7.5 CFM per occupant all right one and two so in other words uh, when we're talking about ASHRAE so let's Again, let's talk about ASHRAE 62.2 2010. This is pretty much this. The standard says that in order to provide fresh air in a house, you need one CFM every 100 square feet and 7.5 CFM per occupant. And if we want to, if we want to utilize this as an equation, this is pretty much 0 .05, 0 0.01 times the square feet. And this is 7.5 times number of bedrooms plus 1. So let's put this into a very nice equation. So fresh air equals to 0 0.01 times square feet plus... 7.5 number of bedrooms plus 1. This is also called, let's put them with another color, this is also called ventilation. Ventilation rate. Ventilation rate. Sometimes they also call it outside air. OA. All right. So in order to comply with this standard, which is the ASHRAE 62.2, we have two options. Option one is the formula. Let's put in here formula. Option one is the formula. And option two, option two, is the table and they also call it in a fancy way prescriptive table prescriptive because it's based on parameters and values all right so let's do an example so if we have a house that has three beds three bedrooms and is uh, 2,500 feet. I'm sorry, 2,500 square feet. Okay, so if we have this house and the house has three bedrooms and 2,500 square feet, we need to obtain what is the required fresh air for proper ventilation or ventilation rate or outside air. So since we're, we were talking about the options, option number one is the formula. The formula is basically 0 0.01 times the square feet plus 7.5 number of bedrooms plus one. This number of bedrooms plus one, actually we're gonna put this with another color. Let's put it with white. This is, oh, I'm sorry about that. So it's not this one, it's this one. This is actually occupants, occupants, the number of occupants. So the number of bedrooms plus one in this case is going to be equal to the following. Let's continue in here and fresh air. 
so fresh air or outside air equals to in this calculation three bedrooms so 0 0.01 times square feet the square feet is 2500 2500 plus 7.5 times number of bedrooms number of bedrooms is three three plus one so if we do the math we have the following the fresh air CFM is going to be equal to 55 CFM see this is more precise more precise all right now the second option also is to utilize the table so the table indicates for the table I just need this we need two inputs we say that this is three bedrooms and 200 2500 square feet all right so let's let's locate three bedrooms okay we're gonna use pink <laughs> so three bedrooms right here is located in here floor area square feet so this is a table that brown exhaust fans utilize okay so we have three bedrooms two to three bedrooms is right here and we also have 2500 square feet so 2500 square feet is in this range so we intersect this together one and two and cha -ching, we have 60 CFM so based on the table you see the table indicates that we need 60 CFM all right so I need to emphasize in this the following this is actually for continuous ventilation I'm going to put in here either this and this CFM it is for continuous continuous <laughs> ventilation ventilation so if either you are a contractor or, or an HVAC designer uh, the CFM is always a requirement so in other words if you don't get a fan the first thing they're gonna ask is what is the CFM so you're going to be able to provide the CFM that is compliant with ATRI 62.2 by two methods formula or table whichever works so you're going to be able to comply with 60 CFM and then the manufacturer itself will tell you okay you're going to need this fan for example for Braun we sometimes we have the QXT -E, QXT -E, I think 110 for example 110 CFM so this CFM is for continuous ventilation which means the fan which is going to be located in the bathroom usually in the master bathroom or the bathroom uh, is going to be operating continuously 24 7 but that usually doesn't happen that but that's that doesn't happen so that's why they also go for the other method which is intermittent ventilation so that intermittent ventilation is based on the run time and operation schedule. In other words, they're going to provide more CFM and less run time. That's the basic principle of intermittent ventilation, but th that will be explained in the next video. Okay, let's summarize this very, very quickly. Number one, whenever you are trying to comply with the ventilation requirements based on ASHRAE 62.2 2010 you have two methods formula and table and that's pretty much if these two um two rates one cfm every 100 square feet or 7.5 cfm per occupant Be, uh, and that is translated into a formula like we have in here and also you can calculate this based on the table i hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to to hit the like button and subscribe subscribe and share thank you very much appreciate it